Hey folks, how you doing? Doing an update on the uh, solar pool heater, solar hot water heater. It's run on a it's run on a 50 watt solar panel. And it's a hundred feet of irrigation hose in there or pipe, and it's doing the job. Over here, I'll zoom in on here in a second. It's going to need a, a, a I needed to put a valve in there, uh, so the water wouldn't get through there too fast. Every, it's trial and error. When you build something, it's trial and error. But you put a, uh, I put a diverter valve in there, or a valve to control the water flow coming in there, because you want it to run slow, slow. That way it has time to heat up in the box. So that's the main purpose. But I'll zoom in on that, y'all, and let you check it out, okay? Little update video. But if you look right here, I put a Apollo valve in there. It's made for boats, marine applications. And there it is. And it's bronze. It's got bronze spitting, so it'll, it'll stand up to the hot salt water. That's a salt water pool. And yeah, it's doing the job. And we'll get a closer look up at it. Give you some water temperatures. Let you, let you see how everything goes. But that was a, uh, a couple friends of mine uh, recommended it. Brower Power 2010 uh, recommended it. I said, that's a good idea. I put it on the cold, that's the cold water side coming in. Uh, that's where you want to put it at. But right now it's 81 degrees out here. And I'll show you the temperatures of the pool and all that kind of stuff. All right. First of all, we'll show you the temperature of the pool. And then we'll show you the temperature coming out of the solar panel, or the solar collector. Okay, right now the temperature is at 125 degrees. Uh, maybe a tad over there, 135 degrees inside the box. So the tubing, the water coming there is probably about, probably around 100, 95 to 100 degrees coming out right now. So let's check it in. Let's check it out, the temperatures. Okay, y'all, this is the outcome of the water temperature. Let's see, can y'all see that? Oh, not too good. All right. We'll zoom out a little bit. All right, we'll check the temperature of the water first. On the cold, on the cold side. I'm checking the temperature probe down here right now. Water right now is 84 degrees, 84.2. That's the temperature of the pool water. All right, let's do the, uh, we'll do the uh, outcome of water. We'll stick that probe up inside the, the uh, hot. The out is the uh, temperature. Okay, it's up to 90 now. Hey, two. Hey, three. It's been running, y'all, since about about seven seven o'clock this morning. It's been running. It's like 81 degree air temperature out here right now. Right 
95 degrees now. Ninety five point five. Ninety six. Ninety six point six. 97.2 97.3 Nine point nine. I get a hundred degree mark. There you go, hundred degrees. So it's probably warmer than that. All right, so we got a hundred degree water temperature coming out of there. That's pretty good, y'all. That's pretty good, real good. I'm happy with that. All right, so I'll put that up on there without falling off. So it's 81 degree. It's 81 degrees out here right now. So it's really helped out a lot. And. Uh, you can see the hot water uh, coming out of there. It's like a it's like a trickle coming out of there. 85 degree water temperature is perfect. Okay, if it gets too hot, I always shut the hot water heater down, the solar hot water heater down. So you just you just want to trickle. If you get too much water coming out, it's not doing any good. So you want a happy medium. All right, I'm gonna show you a close-up of the valve and all that kind of stuff, okay? Temperature again for the solar air box. Like 135 still, same temperature. All right. And the water just, like I say, just barely trickling out there. That's running all on a 50 watt solar panel. So it's, it's doing a job. This is July the 2nd. So, and you can see the water. Well, I'll zoom in. That's a, the outer tube. That's kind of condensation around it. But see, that's, that's the first water coming in. You got condensation coming in right around here and you got all the way around and then as more goes in the center the better off it gets and you got you know condensation right now if you can see that yep you see it but it's doing a really good job this box should get a whole lot warmer but when you got cool water in there 85 degree water 
and it's been it's, it's been doing its thing for the past week or so since I made a video but here is the valve I put it in and I got it okay the only position is here off all the way down would be off that would be about right here so I got it about mid you know that in that direction there and this is Apollo it's a good valve it's not cheap it's like a $60 valve but it'll hold up to the salt water and here's your pump 500 gallon rule pump and it's doing a fine job um, it's still sucking all the water in but it's being controlled water coming in now instead of full blast that valve is what you need and you see you got full water pressure coming in right here not full but it's been you know it's controlled water and that's a 50 watt PV panel it's doing the trick it's doing the job but yeah I just wanted to show y'all and it's got condensation on this end too all these tubes that's because it's got cool water running around and it gets warmer warmer as soon as it gets circulates round and round and round and round until it comes out of the hot water up here but yeah it's working so that's a, that's a plus and it's only 81 degrees out of here and the wind's blowing so that'll show you what that thing will do so that box is 125 degrees you can guarantee about 100 water, 100 degree, 25 degree difference. You got a 100 degree water temperature coming out of there, and that'll heat the water fast. All right, and that was my Oregon Scientific meter uh, thermometer. I'm gonna go over here to the pool uh, chlorinator. I like the separate pump because it's just it's all on its own. It's all on its own system. And you get it's more effective this way. I didn't pay like twenty dollars for the pump. And it's DC. It runs like it runs what one takes one point nine amps to run it. And that panel is probably like a two point a two point five amp. So it's good. you got plenty of enough power to run it directly to the. I just tie it directly from the uh, solar panel to the pump with good waterproof connections. As y'all see here, 3M connections. With you know, they're all with, with heat shrink. They come come that way. You just got to heat them up with a hot air gun or a lighter. Just got to be real careful. All right. And the actual pool temperature should be 85. I checked it earlier this morning. We're at 2,900 parts per million right now. Floor temperature is 85 degrees. Yeah, y'all can see that. 85. All right, I'm gonna shut this up. So that's good temperature, y'all. It'll probably get up to 87, 88 today. Because that's like almost like bath water. Not quite bath water, but good enough. But overall, doing really good. Doing really good. All right, well, I uh, just want to give you a little update on how it's doing and give you a little better explanation. And y'all can, uh, can get glass cheaper than this. I just use quarter inch. This is a quarter inch Lexan. And I was like, I paid $206 for that, which was one of the cheapest in the world, but you can probably go on Craigslist or eBay and find it cheaper. I, just, I bought this from a local glass shop. A quarter inch will hold up to the heat a whole lot better than the uh, 1 8th or 3 16th. Okay. Yeah. There she goes, nice and warm. All right, we'll be back here in a second. Hey y'all, I wanna thank y'all for watching my video. If y'all got any questions or comments, on my system or how I built it anything you want to know just let me know that's what I'm here for the temperature right now is 82 degrees the 
hope y'all can see that. Oh, I hope so. All right. 82 degrees. But uh, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm pretty happy with that. Well, thank y'all for watching. Please subscribe. This is KVSMC or Kenneth W. Byer Jr. Uh, please, please subscribe and God bless and simplify. Hey, y'all have a good one now. Hoorah.